Hi everyone, welcome back to Petronia Plates. I am back in the kitchen today where I'm spending actually a lot of time because as you know, right now it is quarantine time. A lot of people are staying home and staying safe. Look at this t-shirt I have on, stay home for Nevada. Yeah, so I'm among the people trying to social distance myself. A lot of people are cooking more at home now. You know, they have to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner at home. And one of the things that I've been making and I love, love, love it is a, a banana peanut butter smoothie. So I have a recipe that I've been kind of perfecting and it's simple, but it's really good. I'm trying to have that in the morning because as you know, one of the biggest problems we're having right now staying at home all the time is we're eating not stop right so I want to fill myself up in the morning give myself a little protein some fruit also it's pretty healthy for you so I'm going to show you how to make my version of a banana peanut butter smoothie for breakfast so let's get right to it first I use almond breeze um, almond milk so it's unsweetened vanilla um, you can use regular almond milk as well but I like vanilla flavored and this is unsweetened so not too bad for you so I'm gonna use this of course we need a banana, but um, what I do is that I freeze them. So it just takes, for one smoothie, you just need one banana. So basically I cut it up like that and then I freeze them and then this will make it colder, which I like. So instead of regular peanut butter, this is the way that I make it a little bit healthier. This is peanut powder with sea salt. So I got this at Trader Joe's. I've actually never tried it before until um, recently and it's actually really good with that hint of salt but um, it's not as sugary as regular peanut butter. This works really well with the smoothie. So um, I'm gonna put some of this with the banana and then the almond milk. And if you like your smoothie really sweet, um, the other thing that you can add is, this is some of my um, Splenda. So this is, you can use for baking, but I also put this into my uh, smoothie as well. So I'll put all the ingredients and how much you need to use into a description box below. But yeah, I have really few ingredients that you need. Just a banana, frozen, almond milk, peanut powder, and little Splenda if you want, optional. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I make it. So I almost forgot the most important thing about what makes this smoothie special for me is adding granola. So I have sherry almond granola here, but really any kind of granola, it just adds an extra crunch to that smoothie, which I'm not used to doing. But then I saw at one smoothie place I went to not too long ago and they added some granola in there and it just really, it just gives that texture and a little bit of sweetness to it, which I really love. Banana, chopped up, just one banana, medium, medium banana, right into the blender. So I'm gonna do that. So about a fourth cup of the peanut powder. So there you go, easy breezy. Don't forget the granola. It actually adds a really good crunch to this. So good way to start your day. By the way, if you like this t-shirt, it's actually Stay Home for Nevada, but they also have Stay Home for America t-shirt. So anywhere in the country, you can actually buy this. Actually, a friend of mine, Michelle Morgan, charity is uh, launching this campaign and the money actually goes to help people who, affect, who are affected financially by this pandemic. So really good cause. So I'll leave where you can uh, send in a donation to get this t-shirt. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make some healthy recipes and um, stay well and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.